NerdRotic.com. Welcome to the Super Chat Square Up for the NerdRotic Nooner and Friday Night Tights. And if you hear noise in the background, my painters are right outside my wall painting my house. So uh, I don't know if you'll hear that or not, but that's what the noise is. It's not... It's not the people I have trapped in my closet. It's not Comics Division trying to get out of his room that I blocked. It's the painters. The painters. All right, so let's go right to the Super Chats. Let's get going on this, all right? Uh, it's been a really interesting week. Uh, kind of died down with the Lord of the Rings stuff. That's going to ramp up again here pretty soon. Interesting Game of Thrones news. And, of course, the Miss Marvel trailer came out. Uh, currently, Perry's working on a video for that. A bit salty on that one because I include a controversial subject. Uh, Disney decided to take side, take sides against parents and parental rights and just the dishonesty surrounding that whole bill. And it's being used to say that we are trying to silence voices or erase people, which is not the case. There's just an appropriate age to talk about that stuff. That's all. And yeah, I'll get into it in my video. Um, and also, like Miss Marvel is a derivative character to the power of nine, I believe. I'm going off the top of my head. I get into it in my video. I saw a critical drinker did mention Ser Sharon Ventura. Uh, Maybe he was watching my live stream, or he just did. I saw the I saw the critical drinker was mentioning how derivative she is, and that's good, but it goes way farther than that. Way, way farther than that. Um, great video, by the way. So and I had a really good time on his live stream uh, yesterday talking about Two Towers. That was awesome. If you guys missed it, I think it will be on his alternate channel probably within a day. Yes, one of my Nerdrotic Nooners has not uploaded because I wasn't able to download it from YouTube. So it's just kind of caught in this holding pattern. I'll eventually re-upload it, but right now the link is still available. If you find it on Twitter, you can go watch it. If you want the link, just email me and I'll send it to you if you can't find it. All right, again, let's go back to the questions, or let's get to the questions. All right, this is from the Nooner. Uh, Tweeter459 for $5. Message on YouTube, Cam Harmon, at Real Cam Harmon on Twitter. Made a custom shirt for the night as well as I'll share pics to FNT this week. All hail the fellowship. Excellent. Can't wait to see it. Hail. Uh, Friday Night Tights, we have Brittany Venti. Uh, and guest hosts, Eric July and Mahler, filling in for Ryan and Jeremy. Jeremy. Uh, they are, of course, in Las Vegas right now uh, with, for John Bartolo's memorial. Uh, rest in peace, John Bartolo. Great guy. Uh, the mashup for $3. Hello, Gary. I felt like the final action scene of the Batman was an afterthought added to us up there budget money. What do you think? Also, would you mind shouting out my YouTube channel? Not at all. Just called The Mashup. Would really appreciate it. Check out The Mashup, everyone, and I'll check it out too. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, yeah, I, I think there was more to it. I think they initially probably wanted a four-hour cut, um, which may provide more context. I, I, I mean, I don't know if it's better or not. Uh, I guess they did show it, and some people liked it. Um, listen, I know the Batman is a very popular movie and a lot of people are liking it. I think it's, eh, eh, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. It's, it's not my favorite Batman movie and it's not my favorite Batman. Robert Pattinson did a better job than I thought he would initially. Uh, but there's, uh, and, and Zoe Kravitz, oh, I'll try not to say Zoe Quinn did a better job, but there's just, there's too much set up for possible wokeness later. I really don't like, no, I, I thoroughly dislike incel Riddler for Chan incel Riddler. And that's their perspective on it. Not mine. Um, thought Colin Farrell was a, a good penguin, but I haven't gone back and seen it. And I haven't felt this like strong urge to go back and see it. I probably will when it's out on 4k. That's probably when I'll, I'll watch it again. Uh, 
Oh, boy. Best name I could think of for $20. Thank you. Longtime fan of your stuff. Have you had a, and thank you, by the way, have you had a chance to check out Shad's book yet? I would love to hear your opinion on it. I have not. It got packed. Have no idea where it is right now. Have no idea. It came in right when I left, but I will check it out. I do. I did buy it on audiobook, so I could check it out sooner. Maybe I'll start that this weekend. Yeah, I, uh, Shadversity is just one of the greatest channels on YouTube. End of story. Love that dude. Captain Spire for $3. Your room looks more like a comic shop than most comic shops. Need any coffee in Texas? I always need coffee. <laughs> I always need coffee. I'm not going to say no to coffee. I love coffee. And I go through it uh, quite a bit, actually. Quite a bit. I've had two cups already today. Uh, Worm27X for $5 says, The dwarf character Disa was created for the show. They refer to her as a princess. She is royalty. What line of Durin is she supposed to be from? Will they tell us? Well, obviously the line that's, uh, well, the line does go extinct. But, I mean, one that goes extinct earlier? Uh, obviously, it's before the dwarf genocide and the hobbit genocide and the elf genocide prior to uh, the third age. Gandalf the Grey for four ninety nine. Galadriel going to have a lesbian kiss sex scene like Moraine in Wheel of Time. Sauron gay as well. Hobbits and wizards being in the second age is lore shattering. Shattering. Yes, indeed. Um, yes, I have heard... I have heard from um, I, from an email that there's going to be LGBTQ plus representation. And I'll remind everyone again that uh, I, I, I talk to people, but it's more when I talk to people who work in the industry, it's more to find out if my speculation is right cross some I's, dot some T's. These are very private conversations because they could get people fired. That's why I don't run with videos. Um, I mean, most of the stuff I run with on videos is my own research and my own speculation and my own opinion. It is not news. It is my opinion. Uh, but I, uh, people have reached out to me um, in an effort to start conversation which is something I was asking for three years ago. And it's it's nice that some people have reached out. Yes, some people that would be deemed on the other side, but might not be on the other side, just doing a job, uh, have reached out. And we've had conversations, and they have been very good ones, and they continue to this day. Uh, will I be able to talk about them? Yeah, in about a year. Um so you y'all can remind me uh, after June, I believe, of next year. Uh, how is the new house? It's wonderful. It's currently being painted right now. Um, it was uh, the house we bought was built in the '80s, so it needed uh, and it was neglected over the last two years. So before we moved in, it needed a little bit of work. Uh, it's it, that work has been done, and we're just getting the house painted out. Uh, thank you for asking mad cat 15 for one. And thank you geek course for the $2. By the way, I do a comic song parodies on my channel. Hail, hail CG. Go check out geek chorus, uh, beef panda for $2. Was that a Ron Jeremy mask on the left? No, that was, uh, Edgar Allan Poe. I was showing a picture of my comic shop and I had a mask of Edgar Allan Poe, but it did look a little bit like Ron Jeremy Gandalf the grave for nine 99. Someone thanked you. Uh, just some guy, Nerd of the Rings and Men of the West for the love and defense of Tolkien. Wow. Uh, Men of the West posted that and he said he doesn't like getting political. Saw someone get mad about that. Thoughts. Um, Men of the West is uh, a channel I will defend until the end. I will defend until the end because he does not like to get political. It is just a lore channel. It is just a massive Tolkien fan who loves Tolkien, who wants to share Tolkien, do what fans do. So that's the kind of people I defend. I have recommended people subscribe to Men of the West. If you don't know anything about Tolkien and you kind of want a starter kit, like that is your starter kit. Um, he does very concise. 
uh, very, you know, like I, I don't want to say low key. Um, they're very well done videos. They're very cool. And it gives you the history. I mean, he does the history of Galadriel. Um, he does the history of Gandalf. I mean, he gets into all of it. So, um, very good channel. Can't recommend it enough. And no, uh, he's not in the culture war and, uh, that there's nothing wrong with not liking getting political, especially when you're a lore channel there. This is what we're talking about. I never intended to talk about this stuff. It was the companies, the corporations that introduced all of this garbage in the fandom. I'm just fighting back. I mean, do I hope there's just someday we can just talk like fans again? Yes. Do I think that can happen? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, Marshall Space Flight Center is in Huntsville, Alabama, says Michael King for four ninety nine. All right. Somebody asked me if like Missouri or Alabama, if I had a choice to move to. I, I said I'd probably move to Alabama if I if I had a choice. Um, I like Texas. Uh, Odin Sun nine nine M for five dollars. Doc Ock was a W over almost every major hero in the Marvel U, including the Avengers, Hulk, and Spidey. P.S. Incredible. Hulk 300 is the tits. It is. It's a great comic book. Yes, it is. Uh, no new for $5. Huntsville, Alabama is full of engineers. You would love it. Hey, I love people having pride in their state. Uh, you also have that UFC fighter, right? He's pretty uh, He's pretty good. I like that guy. He's pretty funny. Forgot his name, but uh, El Puerto Rican Sasquatch for $2. Punisher versus Dar uh Punisher and Daredevil, you recommend. Hell, um, uh, Frank Miller, Daredevil. Like, automatically go there right now. Frank Miller, Daredevil, and Punisher is popular. Yes, he was around before that, but it was Frank Miller that brought the Punisher to the forefront again, and then other great creators, like, added on top of that and did great work. Fantastic Mr. Knox for five Australian dollars. Would you like... I would like your thoughts on the DC Comics War of the Jokers and Riddler. It's been a long time since tropes, uh, since I troped into DC Comics. By the way, dig your new setup. Thank you. Um, I thought it was, I haven't been super impressed by comics in a long time. Been pretty disappointed, even with DC stuff. Yeah, I haven't read any new comics for damn near going on two years. Just don't care. Can't stand the creators. Can't stand the publishers. Can't stand what they're doing. Um, and quite frankly, I've been having a great time just reading old stuff. Uh, and I'm having a good time reading old DC. Floral from Under a Rock for five Canadian pesos. Shout me out. Puppets find with quality and pizzazz. Puppets find with quality and pizzazz. Okay. Floral from under a rock. Gandalf the Grey for $4.99. Did you ever, and thank you, by the way, uh, did you ever collect any Toy Biz Lord of the Rings figures? Yes, I did. That's the only set of figures I've ever uh, got obsessively into. If not, why? Um, no, I had every single figure from the Toy Biz line, every single one, every single box set, every single figure, but then I eventually sold them in my shop because it just, the stacks and stacks and stacks, and it was, God, a long time ago. 12 or 13 years ago, I gave up on plastic action figures. When Hot Toys started coming out, I'm like, I'm just going to buy Hot Toys then. And I have an immense Hot Toys collection, like, you guys have seen just a little bit of it. Um, but that it's something I've been collecting for over a decade. So, but yeah, I gave up on like Marvel Legends and uh, the Toy Biz uh, Lord of the Rings ones were great. But I, I'm still just a fan of the 90s Toy Biz, the stuff that you see hanging over there. Uh, just simpler, you know. Really, um, the only plastic figures I kept collecting were doctor who i think doctor who made some of the best figures ever made I'm looking at some now five inches is a perfect height uh they're not over articulated they stand up they're not always in these poses that you you can't stand them up yet that was my complaint about the toy biz lord of the rings action figures but they're pretty cool and again had them all at one point 
Uh, Dick Mustang for five dollars. Welcome to Texas, Gary. Our family is wrapping up a welcome package that should prove super helpful when summer gets here in a few weeks. And I think I got it, Dick. Uh, I think I got it. So thank you. I got a couple of uh, welcome to Texas packages that I got to show off. Thank you, FBI Glow Boy for twenty dollars. Teaching sex ed to our kids uh, has become a religion. So if the schools can't teach about the Bible, why are they allowed to teach about gender reassignment, separation of church and state? It, that's an argument. It definitely is an argument. Gender reassignment is rare. So we're, we're setting into our curriculum, teaching our kids something that happens to 0.04% of the population. Teach our kids how to count money, how to spend money. Teach them the basics, teach them how to write and read and add. These are things you need to know when you're very young. That's your baseline. Um, kids aren't going to be, kids are going to go through many identity changes while they're young. You remember being kids. Plus, uh, this is something that I think parents uh, who pay attention to their kids uh, should be listened to, should be listened to. The answer is this, because there's a bunch of what ifs. What if this happens? What if that happens? What if this happens with that damn bill? And my answer is the same for every single one of those what ifs. Ask your parents. If it's two dads, two moms, a mom and a dad, one mom, one dad, ask your effing parents, a guardian, whatever. But what if they're bad parents? Then we handle that situation individually. We don't create curriculum for 0.04% of the population. You can't. It puts things way out of balance. And when you fuck with kids early, it fucks with kids. And no, no, no. I, I Like, yes, there is a nuanced discussion to be had when they're older. When they're older. Fuck that shit. Long time listener, first time caller, Hope you are well and you are uh, your wall is epic. Thank you, X Wing, for four ninety nine. And listen, I'm not a prude. I'm not a prude. I'm not like anti porn or anti like, dude. If if you want to go throw money at thoughts, I don't care. I don't care. Whatever gets whatever make, you know. Like, I don't know if that makes you happy or not, but like, if it makes you happy, then do it. I don't mind. Uh, living with people with differences as long as they're not trying to push that shit on me. I don't push my shit on anybody else. I don't. Mind your business and I'll mind mine. But there's just this power domination fucking thing always going on, right? And I don't mean BDSM shit. And I mean, like, in life, in politics, in religion, um... I mean, you don't hear me bashing religion. I'm not a godly person. Um, uh, I'm just not. Uh, but you don't hear me bashing religion. Why? Because why would I do that? What's the whole point? Just because um, I may have different beliefs, like everybody's got to have the same beliefs as me, or I can't, that's bullshit. And another person could have different beliefs too. And that's fine. And they can go to church every Sunday. And I support it. It makes a lot of people happy. Does a lot of good in the world. So uh, why would I bash that? Why would I bash that? Uh, Vasidius for four ninety nine. Only one thing I like from Bad Reboot. Fringe. Can't wrap my mind around how such terrible people ha made such a good show ignoring season five, of course. Yeah, it's the, they, they can't end anything. Fringe was still Mystery Box. It was just the setting was better for it. And there were certainly good things in Fringe. But Fringe also had a lot of the tropes that we're tired of today. Uh, Mega Records for $10. Love the content, Gary. Thank you, and thank you for the $10. And Vasidius, thank you for the $4.99. Uh, one day I will start videos in the genre. Until then, would love a shout-out uh, about my reaction channel, Mega Reacts. I have Babylon 5 reactions. Excellent. Love Babylon 5. Go check out Mega Reacts. Billy Badass for $5. Well, Disney founder Walt groomed kids too for snuff films, so everybody who works there are just following an age-old tradition. Uh, I mean, 
that's a rumor that I've heard, I've heard for a long time. It's never, ever been proven. It's never, ever been proven. So, I mean, there's uh, all kinds of things we heard about Walt. And, A, I'm not saying they ain't true. Um, snuff films existed. It's not like they were a myth. They definitely existed. And they, wait, I'm sorry. They still exist. Uh, dead leg, $10. If states work things out, we're numbers. If we work things out, we're names. Exactly. And I've been a number of the state. And I don't want to be that again. Now, back to like the uber dark side of Hollywood, Billy Badass. Um, yes, for uh, big tech, the ultra rich and the ultra elite, there's a lot of jaded people. Like really lost, soulless, evil, jaded people doing very evil things. But they are protected. They are protected. We see it all the time. We always seem to get just up to the edge of maybe popping Hollywood. And then it always dials back. And you go, why? Well, because some, you know, because ultimately there'll be somebody like, mm, there's a president involved and this could, uh, you know, destroy the confidence in our system. So, we, you know, that's how they justify it. It's not how I justify it. That's how they, that they would just have, that's a speculation, by the way. Pure speculation. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's an open secret. Josh Crush for $4.99. Was the kid covering the Ventures version of the Batman theme? Uh, no, he was covering the uh the um the uh the the Michael Giancano uh theme, which I mean has notes from a Batman theme and a and a a uh, Nirvana song. Very similar. Uh, the, uh, the Ricka for four ninety nine. since I found you and a fellow YouTubers while laid up one and a half months in the hospital. Oh no. Uh, I creepily wait every day for rants like these. Hail. Hail. It's, it's, it's not creepily. It's okay. I'll go off once in a while. It's not the don't say gay bill. It's the don't say sex bill as it don't as in don't teach our kids about any kind of sexual activity. Brown Gaijin for five dollars. Hail. Absolutely. It's not a gay straight thing. It's a sexuality thing. And yes, yes, gay children who are born gay will have those feelings whenever they have them. And it may be a bit early. Talk to your parents. If they do ask the question of the teacher, the teacher should say, talk to your parents. Now, if there's something, if there's a difficulty with that individual, it should be dealt with individually. Because once the state attains power, they don't give it up and they use it for other things. We just watched a leader of a country freeze bank accounts for a peaceful protest. We are getting into very, no, we're in dangerous territory. You should read, listen to the Wheel of Time, think you would enjoy the series. Actually finished uh, even with 147 unique POVs, which is nothing. I, I read A Song of Ice and Fire. I think there's uh, 2,000 characters in it, named characters. Uh, 10,137 pages, hardback, uh, 19 days, five hours, 25 minutes audio. Yeah. O o Omega us. That's a long time, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not afraid of big series. I'll do it. But, um, wheel of time kind of wasn't just, wasn't my thing. I'm really enjoying Elric of Mel Nibonet. Mel Nibonet. Cody, one, nine, eight, six, nine, 99 grew up playing star Wars CCG as a 10 year old following my older brother prequels were about to come out. And this time in a very, it was, this time was very nostalgic for me. Hate that Disney is tainting these memories. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, fuck Disney. Uh, thank you. Cody, one, nine, eight, six for nine, 99 Charlie bones for $50. How did I miss that? <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Hey. Uh, I was at Disneyland during leave, and they are changing Splash Mountain 
for the princess and the frog. It's awful. As much as I miss home, San Francisco, I'm trying to represent that not all of us liberals are idiots. No, you're not. You're not. John Thomas for $5. Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana. Voted best park. Free sodas and sunscreen. Oh, that's cool. Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana. Why does that sound familiar? I think I've been there. Like when I was a little kid, I think I've been there. Uh, Ghost Crusaders for $5. That was Sean Young. Sean Young was going to be Catwoman and fell off her horse. Uh, Not Annette Bening. No, Annette Bening was supposed to be Catwoman as well. No, Sean Young was crazy and wanted the role. But Ghost Crusaders, look it up. Annette Bening was supposed to be Catwoman. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm hearing Morales is being played by Jaden Smith. There is the rumor, Alex Cruz, for $2. And it'll probably happen if Will Smith wants it to happen. Um, and it will be Miles Morales. It will be called Miles Morales. Uh, Trevor DeMarco for five British pounds. Not sure what Kelvin is all about. Wheel of Time was a disgrace. The literal main characters was made to seem like an also ran offensive to 99% of us. Yep. Uh, Paul Taylor for 10 Canadian pesos. I want to know, have you ever seen the rain coming down on sunny days? Also, nice room, Gary. Thank you. Uh, Yes, I have. In California, it happens quite a bit. Uh, Obi Juan. Kenobi for five dollars. Episode one of Wheel of Time had a main character murder his wife, who doesn't exist in the books. Make a guess for what the biggest Lord of the Rings canon deviation will be. Oh, I read this one, um, but um, I will say the biggest deviation will be Celeborn. Celeborn. Uh, tried all of Adam's coffee. Going to try yours now. Oh, I read that one too. Craig Wilson for four ninety nine. Hail Gary, hail Morgoth. <laughs> Gary, please take my money and plug your Lord of the Rings two tower stream with the drinker. Yeah, we did that yesterday. It was great. You can go check it out on his alternate channel. G J J for five dollars. Tried all of Adam's coffee. Uh, going to try yours now. Thanks. You can keep trying Adam uh, Krigler's coffee. It's really good. We love Adam. Um, my wife three hours later crew tuan for five dollars i'm a nerd myself and i've been pondering on this for a while at what point does digging up a body does it go from archaeology to grave robbing hmm i think we're in the grave robbing stage quite frankly crew tuan for five dollars uh and oh it looks like you put that in there twice or maybe x-ray girl did uh, Gary, wow, the studio looks awesome. Congrats, says Josiah Fitch for $5. Thank you for the $5, and thank you. I uh, had a lot of help from QBG. Uh, Tempest Inferno, quarter black air, by the way, for $5. Hey, Gary, did you hear about the sex camp for toddlers in Kentucky? What? In Kentucky? No. I don't know if I want to hear about that. Uh, Kelvin, Br- uh, yeah, what the fuck? Uh, Kelvin Brooks for 10 British pounds. Hi, first time ever donating. Oh, I enjoy the channel so much. I'm so sad at what has happened to Doctor Who. I am too. And it looks like we might be getting some news soon. I know we're getting another special any time now, really. They said spring. We're in spring. So I would say in the next month or two, we're going to get another special. Uh, Of course, I will cover that garbage. Uh, Stephen Morgan for 20 British pounds. Your room looks amazing. Thank you. Almost as amazing as you. Wow. Uh, You beautiful bastard. Thank you. Uh, All my best wishes and love to you, brother. Keep kicking ass and taking names. Cheers. Stephen, you too. Hail. Hail to my Brits, man. Love my Brits. John Orchard for $20. If you're going to park to have a good family if you're going to a park to have a good family time you need to think do you need to think about that is it time uh spent together not the place true it's the time spent together not the place but you want to go to a decent place 
but you're right. Honestly, yeah, you, you can go to Comic-Con. Like, I've done this. You go by yourself, and, you know, you know I'm fine. I'm fine being by myself uh, for a little while, but it's much more fun hanging with your boys, uh, your friends. You know, I went to a bunch of Coachella's. Uh, I saw some good bands, but it, the the I, I had a better time just hanging out with my friends, being knuckleheads. Uh, the action figures have climbed the ceiling. Well done, yes, Martino, so money. Uh, Peter Davidson for ten Australian dollars. Weird stuff happening as of right now. Apologies for not always being available. It's okay, Peter. You've been available for so long at this channel. We really appreciate all of your support over the years. And I mean, many, many years. Thank you, sir. Best to mom. Robert Cherry for four ninety nine. Spot on, Gary. Spot on. Thank you very much. I was talking about Disney. Uh, Eric Alfred Abel for $5. Texas has started legal proceedings on Netflix for cuties. More grooming propaganda. Yeah, we'll see where that goes. Uh, Josh, my gosh, for nine ninety nine. I have a friend who of mine who tells me funny work stories from Disney and some of them are horrifying. I want to say, but I get him in trouble. I assure you horror is coming from the left. It is, it is. And they have buried secrets there. Like for the longest time, they said that there were no deaths at Disneyland when there was 11, including a decapitation. Tolkien Jr. for $9.99. Hey, Gary, I stayed in McAllen for a bit. The most beautiful ladies live there. I disagree with you often, but I believe in diversity of thought, but I don't listen to others. Will I learn or will I be challenged? Um, if I don't listen to others, will I learn or will I be challenged? Uh, good point, Tolkien Jr. Good point. Yeah, you, uh, no, no, I don't expect everybody to agree with me on everything. Uh, the, and things are evolving. They're always evolving. Vasidius for four ninety nine. Did you see the Netflix got hit with four felonies over cuties? God bless Texas for this one. Bless Texas, bless Texas. Robert Cherry for nine ninety nine. Make it so hard to avoid supporting Disney. I get it. I do buy Disney Plus for me and my eleven year old grandson, and I really want to experience Disney World with him. Don't know if we will ever make it. Yeah, you know, maybe if they change their ways and be apolitical. Uh, love, we'll love what you have done to the place, says Ghost Crusaders for $5. Thank you. Uh, Ryan Smith for $20 says, Welcome to Texas. If you are in driving distance of McCade, check out the Sherwood Forest Fair. It's got going on now. Lots of cool nerdy shit for the family to enjoy. I, I'll have to check if I'm close to McCade. I'm honestly not sure. Thank you for the $20. The Grizzly for $10. Speaking of, the, of all of this LGBTQ plus stuff, did you see Mug Club live today? They had kids pledging allegiance to the pride flag and identity politics. Man, this is nuts. Yeah, fuck that shit. I don't want to play. You're creating division, not inclusivity. Rebecca Gold. Oh, what's up, Ian, for five British pounds? Hey, Gary. Hi from the UK. Been a busy long time since I watched your nooner. Hope to see you in the next meetup this year. Keep going, mate. Yes. Uh, hope to see you as well, and I hope to see you in the UK when I'm there. Wayward Sun for five dollars. Your studio looks freaking awesome, dude. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And that wraps it up for the nooner. Off to Friday night tights. Chris Coran for two dollars. Hey, Jeremy, is Jay asleep on the bed behind you? Actually, he is. He is. Thank you for the two dollars. Mark Wilkins for ten dollars. I want to see Batman meets Boys in the Hood. Uh, we'll never see that. Uh, otherwise, Batman would have to lose. Uh, Waylon Todd for five British pounds. Chris, she. Uh, Chris, she only is the only cool one here. The rest of you are like girls. Yeah, okay. Uh, simp. No, just kidding. Uh, dirt bike, four ninety nine. The twins aren't going to know who Batman is. Do you see those two? They wouldn't be able to distinguish types of breakfast food from antifreeze. <laughs> Good point. F grade art for ten dollars. Numerical ratings are senseless. You're applying a universal value to a subjective opinion and a subjective scale. Art isn't quantifiable. We should start rating by color. White equals best, Ryan. <laughs> Leventier for 20 British pounds, my lord. Uh, worst thing I'm hearing so far from you guys is that the Batman is a good compared to what we get now. 
Is it therefore crap compared to the good films we used to have? Is this film really good or is it just better than woke? That is a great question. That is a great question. Um, and I, I honestly don't know the answer. Uh, but if you put this up against other Batman films, there have been better Batman films, in my opinion. It's just my opinion. That could change. Um, I Again, I need to see it again, but I just don't feel like running out to the theater. I, that could happen, though. It could change. Uh, Dirt Bike, nine ninety nine. The scene where Commissioner Gordon has to get Batman out of the police station, and they're talking at each other like they're uh, bowed up at each other. And he gives him the key. That made me laugh. It did. I chuckled. I, I thought that was a good scene where he goes up like he's going to chew him out. And then he's like, I got to get you out of here. <laughs> I thought that was good. Aberdolf Ling, Ling Claire for $20. Love the show. Keep up the outstanding work. Thank you very much. Echelon 007 Entertainment for $10. I don't know how to feel about the Batman. When I left, I kind of just felt meh. Like, I didn't feel bad leaving uh, to grab snacks or a latrine break. Just a latrine break. I love that. Uh, just watch the movie for three hours. There you go. Ray Patterson for $10. Welcome, welcome to Texas, Gary. Best lineup for Friday Night Tights as an entire collective, which is better uh, Marvel and DC minus the George Clooney Batman. I'll go away now. Go away now. Yeah, when we have Mahler and Drinker on at the same time, that is... Uh, that's a good lineup, baby. Uh, we got a good one tonight. Mahler's back. And we also have Eric July. Von Max for 250 Hail all. Was that supposed to be Alfred? Yeah. Tobin Russell for $2. Oops. Uh, Tobin Russell for $10. As an immigrant from Cali, you need to go on a pilgrimage to San Jacinto and the Alamo to cleanse you of original sin and being Californian. Okay, if that's what I need to do, I'll do it. I'll do whatever it takes. Uh, thank you, Tobin Russell. Tracy Wilborn for $5. Wait, when did listening to Sirius XM make you a boomer? Not that I'm saying that I'm a not. Uh, yeah, I, I just assumed. I was saying that uh, having Sirius XM makes me kind of a boomer. I, I'm i not. I'm a Gen Xer, obviously, but I just don't care. <laughs> I listen to Ozzy's Boneyard. Uh, model what you see for twenty dollars says Disney is going to shut down Pixar. Quick, quick insider tip: They are pushing more extreme woke there, and then leaking media articles about the Pixar employees uh, want it. Uh, how the Pixar employees want it? Uh, they probably want the same shit the Image employees want. Listen, Pixar is in Emeryville, California, which is basically Oakland. Uh, Emeryville is a shopping center. Uh, it's where they destroyed a, a shell mound, I believe, is in Emeryville. They destroyed Shell Mound, which was an, an ancient mound that they just plowed over. Um, and uh, da, 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 Pixar is right next door. Right next door. Then it's Oakland. So, I mean, and then it's Berkeley. Of course, it's going to be woke. Uh, not applicable for $2. Uh, oh, but oh, Winding back to that real quick. John Lasseter is no longer a Pixar. It's not Pixar. It's Disney animation now. And, well, a Pixar film basically went straight to video. It went right on the streaming service, Turning Red, the one about periods and whatever. Yeah, uh, my kids aren't going to watch that. They're free to watch it if they want. They're just not going to. Not applicable for $2. Uh, Herd's... Heard V's where fell on felt am all myself. What? Uh, not applicable said heard V's were felt on felt am all myself. That must have been referring to what I, I was probably talking. I was talking a lot about Disney. I'm sorry. I'm not getting that at all. Not applicable. I, I am sorry. I apologize. I, I'm, it might come back to me, but yeah. Uh, Mojorism, Mojorism for $5 says, thanks for the entertainment. You're welcome. You're absolutely welcome. I'm glad you find it entertaining. I, I really am. I'm thankful for you. Really. You guys are awesome. 
Uh, John Thomas for five dollars. It's been known for a long time. The scene from The Godfather with the Hollywood producer doing all the child doing. Yeah, yeah. I read this one too. There's a couple in here I probably already read. Uh, Blackguard four for ten dollars. I just looked up at X Play channel trailer. Uh, video uploaded six days ago only has three thousand views for a channel nearly five hundred thousand subs. It makes me think those numbers are largely bot subs. Pathetic. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. The thing is, though, like YouTube does sniff that stuff out. Now, maybe they're looking the other way when it's a Comcast. Um, that channel has also been around for a long, long time. So I would lean more towards just dead channel. Dead channel. Most people don't like unsub. Yeah, you got to really piss them off to unsub or they get tired. You know, like most people don't unsub. Now, that doesn't mean nobody unsubs. I just meant most people. Uh, Kelly John, uh, no, Bogdan Paiu for 25 rons says, at the point, I really don't want them to make a new Stargate series. No, you don't. You really don't. You don't want them making anything new. There would have been a time I would have absolutely been over whelmed with joy that they were going to make a Lord of the Rings series. Now is not that time. Kelly Johnson for $2. Gee, you cool, but stop hating on Warrior Galadriel. Uh, no. <laughs> Kelly, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Warrior Galadriel is stupid. Galadriel was a leader, but not a warrior she was above being a warrior um you know if the, again that that her armor could be from the flight of the noldor and her climbing the uh the frost fangs that that's probably the frost fangs that she's climbing so that's going to be in a prologue right so we're not seeing what's actually in the show and it's it's very i've done been doing this a while now so trailers for tv shows largely draw from the first episode or two and that's it they'll give you a couple of scenes from later episodes but though i mean that's all they have finished i mean the reason it's not it's not premiering until the day tolkien died is because it's not done it's not done or they put it out they put it out uh, but, uh, I'm glad I, Hey, it's okay. You don't have to listen to that, but, um, it's not like I haven't been saying on my channel for three years that if they fuck with Tolkien, I will dedicate my entire channel to the, this, I, I, I'm only partially joking. I will still do videos about other stuff, but my focus will go to Lord of the Rings. Now, my focus goes in different places at different times, right? And believe it or not, it's not based on an algorithm. It is based on what I am interested in at the time. Now, a lot of times that conjoins with an algorithm because I'm talking about really popular stuff, really popular stuff. It's, I mean, it's not rocket science, but you know, when I'm going after the MCU, it's not a positive algorithm thing. It's not a positive algorithm thing. We'll be doing what Charlie does over at emergency. Awesome. And just voiceovering, uh, basically research from Wikipedia. <laughs> I don't mean to diss Charlie. He's, he's got millions of subs. He's great. I, I have no problem with the guy at all. He just stays completely out of this shit and just gives you like, he's like, no, uh, comic books for normies and stuff. But I, I find it, I don't know. I, I like it. I like it. Just like I like man of the West. Men of the West, just a lore channel. Good. I mean, it's a nice channel. You know, you go that, just chill a little bit. But yeah. Warrior Galadriel's stupid. And the, the fact that they are, they, and I mean, Amazon is using my terminology for Warrior Galadriel tells you that that really stuck them because it was so easy to predict. I just tweeted about this. It was like the easiest thing in the world to predict if you've been paying attention in pop culture for the last five years. 
female character, make her a dude. It's not like it's the first time it's been done in the last six months. It's like the fifth. But they're acting like we're the first ones doing it each time. And that reminds me, I got to get back to somebody about another entertainment property who I have been talking to behind the scenes. Yes, I have been talking to people behind the scenes. And it will remain that way. But I'll give you a hint. There's a lot of shells that are going to look stupid. They're going to look really stupid. <laughs> oh, especially when it comes to Miss Marvel. <laughs> um, it's just Robbie for $10 driving home in San Francisco traffic out of the city, watching my favorite California comment on Star Trek Chatard and a Game of Thrones. And I agree with your take on discussing sexuality when time is right. Thank you. It's just Robbie. That's all this is. This is not, and I repeat, not about uh, keeping the term gay out of the classroom at an appropriate age and talking about LGBTQ plus uh, talking about alphabet rights and teaching it in a clinical way. I got no problem with it because you know what? There's going to be kids who are gay because they're born gay. That's not the issue though. The issue is gender. The issue is getting in kids heads when they're very young and impressionable, impressionable. Quarter Black Garrett said it himself. Father Quarter Black Garrett. When kids are young, adults are gods. They want to impress you. And that is why. And don't get me wrong here. I think there are some well-meaning people who are not groomers who feel like without giving it much thought that they might be doing some good for the LGBTQ plus community. I'm saying, yes, I'm saying there's people who genuinely think they're doing good. They're mistaken, but they think they're doing good. Then there are the creepy groomer pieces of shit who will take advantage of these very naive people. Okay. And, and both will think they're right in their position, and both will use the same position to go after common sense. Racism, sexism, homophobia. There is a conversation to be had. Fifth or sixth grade. I'd say sixth grade. There's a conversation to be had about LGBTQ. Not gender. No. Not, not, not to six-year-olds. No. No. It, and, and like, that's not a hill you want to die on because it ain't that important. It's really not that important. The reason, the, the, the harder people push on that issue, eh, you're not looking good. You're not, you're just not looking good. And I am not some, yeah, I, I, I'm not religious, although I respect it. I'm just, I, I'm not the, you know, again. Socially, I hate to say this, socially liberal, fiscal conservative, and I've said it before in the past. I'm I'm not anything, okay? I, I each issue. So I'm an independent. I'm an independent. But largely I think live your best life, be be happy, and, and don't try to push your beliefs on other people. Just, you know, live your best life, be happy. You don't need other people to like you. It doesn't it doesn't fucking matter. We need to grow up. We need to grow up. We have so many infant adults out there who need validation from people all the time. No, you don't. You need to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and be cool. That's all. Once you do that, it doesn't really matter. Does your family love you? I mean, that, that doesn't matter. Do your friends like you? That's all that really matters. Who gives a fuck what a bunch of people you don't know thinks about that? I think a lot of it is insecurity. I just think a ton of it is insecurity. Is people not being okay with themselves, so they need other people to validate them. It's a bad place to be when you're an adult. It's a normal place to be when you're a six-year-old and a teenager, and that can fuck you up if you have adults injecting you with their own personal, I mean, it's an ideology, it's a religion at this point. 
It's like, back off. They're not going to back off, though, because they've said it. They've made it clear. They want to indoctrinate our kids. Fuck no. That's what you got to say is fuck no or get your kid out of that school. It's going to be harder. It's going to be harder, harder on the wallet, uh, or or you can homeschool them. It's going to take a, take time, but these are your kids. Or 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 find a school district that's not that woke. They exist. They exist. They do. <sighs> but back to Warrior Galadriel. Warrior Galadriel. So I tweeted up. That Warrior Galadriel was one of the easiest things to predict. It's just as it's easy to predict that this will be an intersectional feminist nightmare filled with CW dialogue. I have like zero doubt. Sure, there's a chance it could be good, and I'd be happy to eat crow and review a good show. Ultimately, a good show. Um, but we know that's not going to happen. Uh, so no more hot toys fully articulated, says Larry Herzog for two dollars. Uh, no, there isn't. Uh, Robert Meyer Burnett's gone to campia full time mm for five dollars we're, we're gonna figure out a different way to do it you say downer ending it's a bad thing properly executed there's very memorable have you not seen kingdom of spiders 1977 i have not mm but i, I will check it i not not, not oh I, maybe you misconstrued what i said uh, and endings can be downers and still good be like have good films. There's tons. I mean, like that's films used to always end like that. Like people died and at the end, I, that, that that's such a misnomer. Um, it's a, um, but, uh, no, I know I'm fine with a, a, a downer ending. It's just with Logan. I think we were talking about Logan or I was talking about Logan. Maybe I wasn't, but a movie like Logan, I watched it, walked out of it, thought now nah, it was a pretty good movie. Haven't watched it again. Never gone back to watch it again. Because it's so fucking depressing. And I, I imagine if I go back and watch it again, I'm not going to like it as much as I did back then knowing what I know now. Because that was a precursor to a lot of the shit that's going on now. Have the time, place, been set for Orlando meetup? Are there any others in the works? Uh, Do Mars for $5. Uh, right now they are just rolling around in my head. Uh, there's going to be a Texas meetup. There's going to be a Vegas meetup. Um depending on time, time is always an issue with me. Uh, and there's going to be an Orlando meetup. We are looking for a place in Orlando. I already know where I want to go in Vegas. I just got to figure out the date. I will have that probably worked out in a week or two, but I'm going to go to the same place. I'm going to the millennium fandom bar and I'm going to see if I can, uh, rent the whole damn thing out this time, but we can't do it on a weekend then. We'd have to do it on like a Thursday, which I'm fine with. Uh, we did the last meetup uh, Thursday and Saturday, and the Thursday meetup actually had more people. So, um, yeah, I was thinking we'll get it. We'll do a Thursday, a day that's like slower for the bar, right? So I can buy out the bar, and it will probably help their numbers, help help Alex, who's a good guy. Uh, we rent out the entire bar. We're gonna pass out tickets. Uh, tickets are free. Tickets are absolutely free. You just got to RSVP. Um, even if you get, like, if you're in Vegas and you forgot to RSVP, I'll, I'll have you contact. We'll have a contact uh, email that you can just email uh, and we can work it out. But, uh, yeah, the only reason we have to take tickets is we want to keep track and uh, make sure, uh, you know, there there's always trolls out there who want to uh, fuck up fan events. So um, I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen this time. Going to make sure that doesn't happen this time. You know, I, I, sometimes you under us, you underestimate how low people will go. And that is my fault. That is ultimately my fault. So yeah, we will, uh, I'll let you know. It'll be on the website. I've got so much going on right now. I cannot be uh, like I spent yesterday just kind of fucking around. I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> it was nice though. It was nice. Uh, do, 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 do.
we only have 48 hours to save the earth. Flash! Don't do drugs. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. I've seen aliens drop from the sky. Yeah. But I have never seen anything like this. How much more are you hiding? I'm taking all the risk. Almost heaven. Oklahoma. Tall grass prairie float. I'm sad that I won't be able to plan your wedding. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. Oklahoma, north of Tulsa, take me home. Country roads. I love it. I think it's a really good movie. My experience with it is 10 out of 10. I think this had a 10 movie. I think it's a really fucking good movie. Gary, when I was a youngster, I used to watch Star Trek with my mom. Uh, wouldn't happen with Kurtzman Trek, says F6 Blue for five British pounds. Uh, no, it would not. You're absolutely right. And I, yeah, I used to sit down and watch it, uh, well, not with my mom just by myself, but I'd watch it as a kid. And not applicable for $2. Bragging about beating the dead, LOL. Uh, you mean as? As is always beating the dead with, he's currently live streaming with Quarterback right now. Uh, sir, ooh, and X-Ray Girl. X-Ray Girl. Uh, sir Ubisan for $2 says, did Quarter quit Louder with Crowder to work with you, Gary? Uh, yeah. I know. I asked him, all the time. Are you sure you're not regretting your decision? <laughs> Trust me. It's, I feel so, <laughs> I have a weight of responsibility. I'm like, I hope he did the right thing. <laughs> Danny, I love quarterback. I do. Danny M for $5. Hey, went to a comic shop recently and asked the clerk for recommendations. I told him I liked Red Sonia, Conan, Lady Death, he tried to offer me Naomi. What? Oh, God. Why? Why? Yeah. They have nothing to do with each other. I mean, maybe Naomi, not Naomi, but no. I would have uh, directed you, okay, if I, like, uh, I don't like Dynamite right now. I would have directed you to Marvel. I would have I would have taken you in the back and found some Savage Sword of Conan and some old Red Sonya Marvel books for you. Karma Karma for $2 says, Disney's Blade looks trash towards the old Blade. It's going to be trash. It's going to be trash. The original Blade was fucking cool. Uh, Brett Wilson for $2. Just watch the Batman, 7 out of 10. Got me interested in reading the comics. Where do you recommend I start? I recommend you start with um, year one. Year one, go to year two. Uh, go. You can even go to year three, although it's not as good. Death in the family. Just get anything, you know. Uh, damn, Jim Starlin wrote back in the 80s. It's just the 80s. Like, honestly, Batman is, I would say, overall a really damn good book from Batman year one to the mid aughts it is it's just one of the most consistent books there is uh, x-men used to be that too uh, just call california their texas hail the fellowship and friday night tight says sir ubisoft for two dollars so happy to be in texas miss marvel is used to say fuck you to evil white males she is an act she is not an actual character. Lightning, one, two, three, four, five, six for 20 Canadian pesos. Could not agree with you more. DRT, uh, dirt bike. Oh, I get well, I get it right there. Just took out the uh, vowels. I got it uh, for $9.99. Gary, you know the guys responsible for and enabling this woke dumpster fire in movies and TV are the same simps 
who buy women's used underwear online. Hail to you, sir. Hail chat. Hail fellowship. Yeah, uh, I, I, this used to be considered a controversial statement. And thank you, Dirt Bike, for nine ninety nine. Um, the Tumblr Renas who went to Twatter and the creative betas in the industry have all driven the alphas out and masculinity out. And it's just all girl shit. And it, you could have girl shit and you could have gay stories, but they've systematically taken all the masculine male alpha characters and turn them into fucking idiots or chumps or just kill them. And it's happening in entertainment too. Because masculinity is bad. It is bad to a beta. Some Norwegian guy for 109 Norwegian Krona. Thank you. Genuine question. When do you think political correctness in the movies, TV games will start to go away? Five years, 10 years, 15 years, or is it here to stay the way things are now? I'm not too optimistic. Yeah. Um, I mean, it can't continue. People are just fucking fed up with it, but it goes in waves. If you remember, um, trends do go in cycles. The cycle has changed a bit because of some engineering going on in the world, we'll just say. But there was a woke cycle in the 90s. There was a PC cycle in the 90s. And we're about 20 years out from that cycle, right? So 1997, 2017. Yeah, so it should be on its way out. Late 90s, early 2000s. It should be on its way out. uh, Five years? That seems so long. I'll tell you how much time Hollywood has. None. None. They don't correct it this year. They're fucked. Uh, I think in some aspects they are, but it's going to be too late. Like I, one of the last corporations who will who will arrive at the change party will be Disney, and they own so much. We just had Amazon buy MGM, so now they they can remake The Hobbit. They can. Uh, you know, Saul's ants is out there, but they can take care of that if they need to. It's Amazon. Alphabet mob, like they take it away our freedom. Karma Karma for two dollars. They never will take away my freedom or yours. Hey Gary, just stopping by, but have to say, wow, the nerd cave looks beautiful. Nice touch. Oh, thank you, Andre Madelski. Uh, thank you for the one hundred Czechoslovakian pesos. Uh, be well out there, okay, my brother. Thank you. Sean McClure for $1.99. The intended imagery, Twitter fans love this. Yes, they. Uh, Sean, you're absolutely correct. Chris Persia, the great Canadian wrench. Uh, some of Canadia's, uh, Canadia's, Canadia's finest for $5. Um, it feels like Kamal's cuff will uh, is one of Marvel's quantum bands. Yes, yes, th- those are quantum bands. Those are straight up the quantum bands. So they gave Marvel's quantum bands to Diversity Marvel. Uh, explaining most of her retcon powers and preventing Quasar from the MCU. Well, that, you know, there can be an, a variant or some shit, which is just getting muddled. But you're right, yeah, uh, Quasar is a cool character, but they'll they'll do the girl Quasar. Uh, Marcus Gaius for 250 Martian pesos. I spend too much time on, in fantasy land while people pray in the scene, Right. Uh, man, the fact they went with a frumpy Miss Marvel, this just, I have, I am, I am not Starfire vibes. It does. The good thing out of this trailer is that it is divided their current fan base over their power set for starters. Yep. I bloody love to see it all go into the toilet, says Fantastic Mr. Knox. It, well, it will. They're, they're really releasing it concurrently with Kenobi. So they're burying it. I mean, it's a week after Kenobi comes out, but they're burying it. What are your thoughts on the look of Batman and the Joker in the live short Batman Dead End? Fantastic. Enrico Palazzo for $5. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. 
uh, honestly, best Batman costume live action, period. Hope to God the finale to Miss Marvel is Rogue stealing her powers and life force, says Bastard Luigi for four ninety nine. That'd be nice. Eric K for two dollars. I am sure that guy gets something. They probably do. They always do, Eric. Uh, fascinating how the intensity of Miss Marvel superhero powers of brownness corresponds with the geological location she's in. So stunning, yeah. New Jersey, <laughs> Uber geek of five British pounds. Ah, uh, Gary's on. Brilliant, says Thoughts of Fitness. Thanks. Um, our rural juror for nine ninety nine. Hey Gary, the studio of yours is kleptomatics is a, a kleptomaniac's dream. Be careful who you let in there. Well, I already let a quarter black guy in. Just kidding. Back to Friday night tights cross purposes for ten dollars. Thanks to Mrs. Nerdrotic for the sweatshirt from the swag giveaway. Here's a couple of bucks. Great show, everybody. Ah, I will pass on the thanks. Thank you very much for participating in. The swag giveaway. It's Swag Sundays. It's on our Instagram, Instagram.com slash nerdrotic. And you can get like uh stuff like oh, I can't reach them now. Beanies and mouse pads and sweatshirts. AG sticks for $25. Would you wrap this up? I want to watch as on Elden Ring. No. He's he's playing um some zombie game right now. Just kidding. Uh Aberdant Sky 2 for ten dollars. As a son of a Taiwan in a immigrant, I approve of Gary's message. That's right. Taiwan is a country. Uh, Cthulhu loves you for 1304. Love to the fellowship. Mod Rodics in chat. Can I plug my Mrs. Non-Woke Kids book? Of course. Tom and the Hedge Witch on Spit. Amazon. Old school fantasy storytelling. Anyway, much love to you all. And it's called Tom and the Hedge Witch. Go check it out. It's Cthulhu loves you, his wife. That's, that's sweet. Uh, the common nerd for five dollars. Thanks for my most viewed video ever, Ryan. I'll send you a super chat soon enough. The Twitter meltdown was hilarious. It really was. It really, really was. Common nerd. Uh, Arku Arkusul for three dollars. I misjudged Carl Hofstetter. I'm still wary of anything produced now that Tolkien kids have passed. But he seems like a good guy, seems to have defended Tolkien quite exemplary. exemplary. Uh, wonder if he would have a conversation with us, could clear a lot up. Uh, yeah, okay, so he um, he went in to the conversation. Uh, I did a video on it as well. It's my last Lord of the Rings video from like uh, a couple weeks ago. Check it out if you haven't. Uh, where the Tolkien expert comes out and slams the fans again, and the guy who edited the last book comes in swinging in the comment section. It's quite good. I'll probably add it to my next Lord of the Rings video. I do have some video cut on it, and I quite often do that. Um, so, I mean, rarely these days do I do a video on a single article. I like to combine things, combine, you know. Um. And sometimes I'll just shoot stuff because like I'm that's going to fit in something I'm going to do in the future. But it's not enough to make like an entire video off, for me anyway. Um, maybe I should change that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, yeah, it was it was uh, it was it was pretty, pretty savage, but savage in a very classy way. It was very good. Um, and I doubt that, that he agrees with with me. Uh, and he doesn't have to. Uh, Helga's Kitchen for five dollars. Hail Friday Night Tights. Any insight on the Beavis and Butthead project that's starting up? Also, I want to send you guys some products. How can I send you some pickles? I'm working on an FNT pickle flavor. Wow. Uh, PO Box. PO Box is in the About section. Uh, it, it. I still don't know it from memory. Sorry, but it'll be linked. I'll I'll link it in the description. It's in Texas. Sorry. Uh, Good day. I would love it if you could tell and say hi to my wife. She used to tell me to turn off my shit, YouTube shit off now. Whenever I'm watching any of your channels or FNT, she says, keep it up and on, laughs and cheers along. She loves comics zingers. Oh, that's nice, nerd fan for $25. Hell yeah. Uh, hello, nerd fan's wife. Is it nerd wife? Should we just call her nerd wife? Maybe. 
Uh, Man of War 665, the neighbor of the beast. Uh, new Fresh Prez just posted. Yeah, Bel Air. It looks fucking lame. So lame. Uh, Sahil, and thank you, Man of War 665, the neighbor of the beast. Sahil for $20. First time donation. Please be gentle. I will be. I will be. Friday Night Tights is the best weekly show on YouTube. Thank you. All you guys are fucking hilarious. I recently watched Dread 2012, one of the greatest films ever made, period, and thought it was great. Love the panel and the chat. And by the way, ex regul, you're looking fine as always. Well, I'll pass that on to her husband, Sile. I mean her, sorry. Uh, and Ren Theodorakis for $5. Gary, don't watch the new Lord of the Rings series. I don't want to see the light leave your eyes and your heart shatter at how horribly bad they did the series wrong. <clears throat> well, the plan is that if I'm going to review that series, then I'm going to review the movies. I mean, everybody's reviewed the movies. So I'll try to, you know, I'm just going to do it as a regular movie review. That's all I'm going to do. Uh, that's all I can do. But I'm going to review the movies. Yep, I'm going to do, uh, we are, I mean, a Drinker and I and Mahler and Az just did a Two Towers one, but we're going to do another Two Towers live stream. Drinker is more than welcome, like we did last year on the 20th anniversary, which will be December, I think, 15th or 16th, something like that. I mean, much later in the year. Uh, but I'm also going to do, uh, uh, you know, maybe, maybe, I'll do a review and I'll talk about like uh, differences of the books, maybe something like that, you know, differences from like Peter Jackson's films to the books, but still do a review of the movie. But uh, that'll be later on. I'm also going to do a review of Daredevil. Yep. 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 But don't worry. The light won't leave my eyes from that. The, 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 it, it, there's nothing they can do to take away my love for Tolkien. Um, it's different. Like Doctor Who. It's very difficult to cut off what would essentially be Marvel Comics going in and changing Spider-Man's origin, which they could, which they've done, you know. But like, go BBC created Doctor Who, and then they went in and fucked it up. It, it's it's canon. It's lore. Like William Hartnell's not the first Doctor anymore. I know. Like that's hard to think. Still hard to sink in. It's still hard to hear that. But thank you. Thank you. I, I do appreciate it. I'll be fine. I'll be good. I'll be good. Uh, Gene the Machine for $10. The Black Inquisitor will be Mara Jade after all. She's a redhead. Nah, she's a little too old. Um, the first Star Wars movie I saw was The Phantom Menace with my dad. It's why I've always loved the prequels. No matter what Disney does to Star Wars, they will never take that away. Uh, my memories of my dad. Nope, they can't take that away. Zen -Z Zenny Biscuit for a dollar. Thank you. You're right. They can't take that away. Uh, Stu Bro for $25. Hail Friday Night Tights. The choral song in Kenobi sounds like the song from Hunt for Red October. Coincidence? Maybe. Uh, Sporking gave up on GRRM. You finally did it, huh? Well, you know, hey, you held out, buddy. Uh, $5 says, yes, don't review. I will reap all the subs. I mean, I won't either. Oh, you mean Kenobi? Go ahead. I'll tell Gina Carano you just turned her, your back on her. That's all, Scott. I'll just say that girl you've been wanting to follow you, girl, the woman, the goddess you've been wanting to follow you on Twitter, I'll just tell her in a DM yeah, sporking is going to just stick the lightsaber in your back and review Kenobi. I'm just kidding, buddy. You can review Kenobi. Go, God bless you. Have fun. Have fun reviewing something that will be shit. Oh, Deborah Chow's directing. Well, does she write it too? Uh, we got the synopsis. We got the synopsis. Uh, Kenobi's leaving. His mission to watch over Luke Skywalker uh, will be considered not that important. And he has to say Princess Leia instead. I hate Disney Star Wars. I do. Sporkin gave up on GRRM for $5. Says, I feel like Michael Corleone, Corleone in The Godfather 2 and GRRM is my Fredo. He is. He is. 
Uh, his last post was just devastating, man. It has to be devastating. I mean, he all but said, I'm going to focus on TV now. Fuck you, book fans. Uh, Ascendance for $20. Glad you escaped California, Gary. Thank you. My sister just moved back to L.A., to the L.A. area after living in Arizona for a few years. She got mugged in less than two months. Took her purse, keys, wallet, phone. Fuck, is she okay? I hope she's okay. I mean, you can replace all that stuff, but uh, is she regretting moving back? L.A. LA is not, L.A. wasn't great to begin with. It's worse now. There are parts of L.A. that are nice as hell. But I think I talked about it in my in my California video. Even the nice video, even the nice um, neighborhoods are are going downhill. Uh, stupid for five dollars says I would love to see Disbrew on Friday Night Tights with the all had a funny and intelligent. He's funny and intelligent, so he would bring some much needed diversity to the show. Oh, hey, ah, hey, hey. Okay, that might be true. That might be true. We love Disbrew. Uh, the vibes broadcast for five dollars. I'd really like to get y'all on an interview on my show. I'd really appreciate the consideration. Um, yeah, d- oh, uh, it's uh, YouTube.com. The vibes broadcast. Uh, hit, sh- shoot me an email, and either Mrs. Nerdrotic will catch it, or uh, or you can DM X Ray Girl. And they can uh, let you know what my schedule is because they know it better than I do. Uh, And it's not to big time you. It's to make sure I get in touch with you. (laughs) Okay. Because I am scatterbrained. It's never, gosh, you know, it's just, it's never, I want to make sure I'm accessible. All right. That's, that's the one thing. I see, you know, uh, I think that's the one thing that really put us, uh, uh, separated us from the colliders and quite frankly outside of Robert Mario Burnett the John Campia's is, is uh yeah I'll go on other shows I'll go on any you know invite me I'll, I'll try to make it happen I absolutely will try to make it happen I don't care how big your channel is don't care I'll come on if I have the time uh reset the the cripple for twenty dollars uh uh, but to, yeah, but to decide that, like there's, there's, there's just, it's a lot, uh, it's a good problem to have. It's, it's a lot for one person. So my wife helps me. My wife helps me. She's great. She's fucking awesome. Uh, I confused weren't black people oppressed in history. According to history, black people were married to the King of England and ruled over tribes of Vikings. <laughs> if that is oppression, I think that's pretty cool. I want to be oppressed. Hail Friday night tights. <laughs> Eric C for five dollars. Is this where we donate to hire hitmen to off geeks and gamers? Yes. Oh boy, I don't know if we can even read that out loud. We're just kidding, Mama Susan. I have to read the super chats. Uh, no, we love uh, geeks and gamers. We love geeks and gamers, and I am associated with geeks and gamers. Uh, Man of War Friday Night Tides. Man of War six six five. The neighbor of the beast for six sixty five. Weekly crapshoot. Yes. Brightest day for $3. Gary, you often said there are only five woke stories. Uh, you can tell. Uh, can you go into detail to those to us who are dumb, i.e. me? Okay. So I make the analogy that woke storytelling is basically like Mexican food, except Mexican food's really fucking good food of the gods and woke storytelling is drivel. But the one thing they have in, uh, that's similar is there are five variations uh, of the same thing. So uh, a, a taco is meat, cheese, lettuce, and a shell. A burrito is meat, cheese, lettuce, and a tortilla. Uh, a gordita is meat, cheese, lettuce, and some other tortilla. You know what I mean? It's, it's the same thing, but it's good. It's all about the sauces and stuff. I know. But um, with woke storytelling, it's uh, oppressed uh, white man bad, uh, white man weak, um, white man duplicitous, uh, younger girl who's the key to everything, uh, is the most amazing person ever. And black people cannot be written with any complexity at all because people are scared to write them with complexity. And 
what they're really doing is just retelling stories and race and gender swapping. It's, it's a very, uh, they could do this forever, by the way, they can do this forever. They can, um, do like Hispanic version of Lord of the Rings next. And then they can do an Asian version of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> they can just do it forever. But, uh, basically the, the five stories they tell all the time, it's not really stories, it's tropes. It's more tropes. So the tropes are, um, are, are, are white male hero was not as good as we thought he was. And he ends up being either irresponsible or responsible for something bad. He will have to pass the torch to a girl who's the key to everything. Um, all women who are gender or race race swapped or classic female characters like Galadriel are turned into men basically. And they go out and basically a fight like men. Uh, they become infantry. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, but Disney Plus really did it well over the last year. It's bait and switch. They just bait and switch with the girls the key to everything. So one version of it is Disney Star Wars. Another version of it is Star Trek. Another version of it is Doctor Who in this current form. Another version of it is in Marvel right now. Another version of it was the Terminator. So, thematically, the Terminator, Loki, Westworld Season 2, Ultra Carbon Season 2, Umbrella Academy Season 2, Witcher Season 2, Hawkeye, Loki, Winter so uh, Falcon Winter Soldier, parts of WandaVision, all had the same theme. Girls get it done. Started with uh, Fury Road. There's a bit of it in Logan. Yeah, it's all the same fucking theme. You know what's funny is uh, when Dan and Dave were asked about themes, they're 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 the things for eighth grade notebooks. But that's exactly what they did at the end. End of Game of Thrones. Same thing. Subverting expectations. Mystery box. Uh, we or, or everything we set up, we're going to do differently because, again, we want to subvert expectations. They were totally setting up John to battle the, white, the, the Night King. And then they had Arya kill him, who had no connection to him whatsoever. Because they wanted to show a little girl killing the king and they did it earlier too when they had the little girl kill the zombie giant uh young lady mormon uh but they're all the same theme i don't even know if it's five to be honest with you it might be three or four onik zukaman for ten dollars uh, Yasuke is the black samurai anima anime on Netflix about a real historical person. The fellowship loves you peeps. Yeah. Quarter black was talking about that. Uh, Yasuke is the black samurai anime on Netflix based on a real person says Oni Zukaman again for $10. Thank you. Bradley Burnett for $25. What the actual fuck? I totally missed the Viking story this week. The reaching, of, uh, the reaching by the intelligentsia to justify this be, is beyond pathetic. You know, I've never been able to identify with Black Panther, but uh, if a white guy, well, diversity in Wakanda. Yeah, it's, it's only... The only thing you can change is with white people and white culture. The reason they think this, not the reason you think, and I'm talking normal people out there from whatever side of the aisle, you don't, you don't think this way. The reason they think this way is because they don't believe that white people have culture. They believe it was all stolen. When in truth, all cultures raped and pillaged from each other since the start of culture. Did you know? There's no record of war when we were um, 
basically starving to death and we were hunter gatherers. But that record could have been erased. We don't know. Uh, Captain Spire for five dollars. But how the heck can we have a conservative in power with limp wristed Republican rhinos and libertarians who seem to be helping the liberals in their quest to point out how wrong Republicans are? Glad you're in Texas, Gary. Yeah, that uh, Captain Spire. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that one. Um, uh, fuck the rhinos. That's all I know is they're just as bad. They're the system. That's why it's not a right and left issue anymore. It's an authoritarian issue. Uh, Oliver W for ten dollars. What could make Friday night tights even better? Being on the same night as my birthday. Ah, oh, happy birthday! I'm sorry I missed this. Uh, proud to be part of the fellowship and hail to everyone. Question for the New Zealander: As how is the new Oceanic uh, DC, and are you ready for six point one? I'll ask him about that. I'll ask him about that. Thank you, uh, Zenzi Biscuit for one dollar. When playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Seeing black Vikings only made me think just where their check, uh, they were just there for check boxes. There were characters from other countries, but telling me the big black guy is a Viking. My aunt uh, has ocean front property for sale. Yeah. If that's the case, then my Northern European heritage would have had some African in it, but it didn't. It didn't. Like any at all. None. Nada. Zip. Um, I'd have been fine if it was there. Don't, don't have a problem with it, but I just don't. It's because it was very hard to travel back then and not a lot of people did it. And the people who were doing it were raping and pillaging. And quite frankly, I don't think any of the countries in that nice warm South wanted to go, uh, RMPing in the frozen ass North. I'm sure there was some commingling. I'm sure it happened a few times. But none of us were really there. Jester of Roanoke for $2. Hail to the panel. Uh, do you think Amazon's failure to convince anyone that their show represents Tolkien in any way, shape, or form represents a turn of the tide? Or is it a blip because this lies uh, from the media and they're so bad and obvious they can't be ignored? That remains to be seen, Jester of Roanoke. Uh, it, 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 it really was big fucking news. Bigger, than, bigger news than I thought it would be. I thought I I I would and a few of my friends would be the only ones screaming about it. Uh wait till wait till the next trailer comes out. Uh tired retro gamer ten dollars. Can I get a shout out for my uncle Butch who passed away this week and all? Hail Uncle Butch. A good man who took care of his own and was friendly and warm to everyone. A highly thorough and uh, uh a hillbilly through, I'm sorry, a hillbilly through and through. He was not a fan of the woke stuff. Miss him a lot. Oh, tired retro grammar. Hail Uncle Butch. May he rest in peace. Johnny Rebel for $3. Hail all first time commenter. Hey, Gary. I'll be gentle. Hey, Gary. Uh, could we get Sinatra says as a guest one day. He's having some issues with YouTube, and I think it'd really help him out. Big fan of everyone here. Keep up what you're doing. Yeah, I'm aware of Sinatra says. He's political, though, so I'm not surprised he's getting in trouble on YouTube. Has he got a Rumble account? And, yeah, we, can, you know, him and Disparu, we, we, we can all get him in the rotation, certainly. Certainly. I, I, I've watched some of his stuff, and I am aware. I was not aware he was getting into trouble but I probably should have paid attention. Now, this is from another Friday Night Tights. We're going to jump back to that one in a little bit. Al Malone for $10. Question for the stream. Where would you rather live? Gotham City, New York City, MCU one beer, one year, one beer, one year before Thanos, Snap, or Los Angeles? Oh, God. Gotham City, because Batman's there. <clears throat> uh, Aaron Pipes for $5. Is anyone... Going well, it depends on the Batman, but uh, is anyone going to go for fast food with Ryan ever again? His fast food adventures from last week are why I open carry 
Why open carry is a bad idea. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Ryan open carries and he manages not to shoot anybody. Uh, Stetson's goal for 20 British pounds. Uh, things have been so hectic. I haven't been uh, had any motivation to make any videos, but I'll email you more details. Anyway, just thought I'd contribute to the channel and best wishes to all of you. Good luck with the album, Chrissy. She's doing great with it. She's doing great with it. I'm so proud of her. And uh, Stetson gold. Thank you for the 20 British pounds. That's proper money, by the way. Um, and I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay. Uh, justice for Gina for five British pounds. Hail Gina Carano, by the way. Uh, I feel like that what Kilmer and Clooney did for the campiness of Batman patents it did for the fear aspect. Eh, maybe, maybe it's a highly popular movie that I think is average. It's a little, it's above average. It's good. But I just watched Dark Knight the other day. That will fucking doesn't does not hold up to the Dark Knight. Does not. Does not. God, the Dark Knight's so good. Yeah, it's it's got you know what all films have their little things. I don't care. I fucking watching Heath Ledger just tear up the scenery. So sad. It's Van Den for thirteen thirty seven Canadian Virgin donator and Virgin to your live stream. I will be so so gentle. Love Friday Night Tights. Wish I discovered y'all sooner. Well, hey, we've got a back catalog, a long back catalog, because this particular episode is 187. We have 189. We have 189. Gosh. Gosh, golly, that's a long time. We've been doing this. You know, Jeremy was just going to come on for one show. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh, I appreciate that. Is is Vinden? Is Vinden? I appreciate that. And thanks to the Canadian truckers. Thank you guys. We we do appreciate you. You did change a lot. You did well. You did good. Your heroes. All of you. Steve Roberts for five dollars as smash or pass. Karen from the hit blockbuster film. Karen. Oh, he'd smash that. You kidding me? He'd straighten her right out. Hatch 450SX for $5. Are You are all Holly Weird apologists. You paid them to insult you. In the words of Ripa, give up the addiction. Stop giving money to people who hate you. Um, you got to listen to what Eric says. You do. And he did say that. But you also list, you have to listen to what he said before that statement and after that statement. Because it seems like you're just focusing on that. Which I agree with. Uh, I have stopped buying Marvel comics, stopped buying DC comics, but I am going to occasionally buy some stuff because I cover pop culture. It's what I do. Uh, that is something we all need to do once in a while because it gives us the opportunity to see what's going on and possibly inform others. I go out and I just give people my opinion but it's brought a lot of people to the table. Other people have brought me to the table. It's not just me. It's everybody in the audience as well. We need our numbers to grow, and then things will change. Then things will change, if they change at all. But you could start by sitting on your wallet for a great many things, which I think a lot of people have done, but we still need to talk about it. So I'm not sure what you're saying. As far as Hollywood apologists, I will say something's good when it's good. That's not an apology uh, whatsoever. So I don't know if you're new to the channel. If you're new, welcome. That's cool. But um, go back and watch my stuff and then tell me I'm a Hollywood apologist. They don't all hate us. The bankers don't care about us. They don't care. Apathy is not hate. In a lot of ways, it's worse. Actors, a lot of the actors, a lot of the adult pretenders do hate us. A lot of, uh, if not most of, the access media hates us. Um, a lot of big tech hates us. You're on Google. You're on Google. You're giving them an account that these are people who hate you. But we have to be here. You, you want to know why we have to be here? Because we got to beat them at their own fucking game. We need to infiltrate their spaces. And we can't do it by running everywhere. By all means, create alternate forms of entertainment, which I would argue 
that what we're, that's something we're doing right now. By all means, create new comic books, create new web series where you can, and if you can, go create a billion dollar movie that's going to be played in the theaters. By all means, sure it could be done. There have been some huge independent movies that have been very profitable. It can be done. But not everybody can make a movie. Not everybody can draw a comic book. Not everybody could write a comic book. Some of us are just better at being YouTubers. Some of us are working day jobs and uh, doing, you know, fighting for what's right, fighting for our culture, fighting for common sense. That's all we're fighting for is common sense. And we do that by knowing what we're talking about. This channel is called nerd rotic. I'm going to talk about nerd stuff. If it turns good, I will tell you it turns good in my opinion, simply in my opinion, but I'm not the kind of person who's just going to give up on everything. Uh, sure. I'll give up on a franchise and Hey, hatch 450 SX totally agree with you on star Wars. I'm not going to give them shit. Marvel DC comics, not going to give them shit. I'm going to open a store and I'm not going to give them shit. So, yeah, in a way, but also stay informed. You don't necessarily need to watch everything to stay informed. You could just stay informed with the news and cover the news. A lot of channels do that, and that's great. Um, but I have a, it could be a flaw or it could be a principle. I guess it depends on how you look at it. But uh, I need to watch what I cover. And if I didn't watch it, I don't cover it. As a matter of fact, I was just messaging another great YouTuber about my future video, and we brought up the Predator. I would love to talk about how the new Predator got woke, but I only saw Mahler's video. I didn't even watch the fucking movie. But it's it's a great example of all the, you know, somebody just asked about the woke forms of entertainment. That was one of them. That was one of them. And there's going to be another one coming out, too. There's another woke predator that's called prey which i think is a perfect name for it to be honest with you but like these are the things we have to do to inform people and you pick and choose your battles that's all not ev you know not everything needs to be talked about right not everything needs to be talked about um but again i keep it to what i am interested in and what i watch i watch and I, I manage to have a good time doing it whether i'm roasting it or liking it or i'm I mean, the hardest thing to review, quite honestly, is something that's really mediocre. Uh, Yosa Boy, also for four ninety nine. I love these Floyd jokes. It reminds me of Red Bar Radio jokes on him. Red Bar Radio. Red Bar Radio. That rings a bell. <laughs> penis in your bargu then you know had some after coitus nice nice what the fuck ah! yeah! uh okay let me see if i can get to the right window here there we go Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, yeah, are you kidding me? Fucking fuck you. Fucking fuck that shit. Fuck it right in the deer hole. <laughs> Little fuck. You have just come in from a hard day's work and you put on your silk nighty and slip between the sheets for a well-deserved rest. But what is this? It's midnight. Your window open. The breeze filters in. 
and a dark, mysterious stranger enters. Who is he? Why is he here? He shouldn't be, but you don't mind. <gasps> what is leaving on the side by your bed? Why? It is a box of milk tray chocolates. <laughs> You wake up and he's gone. But the chocolates are still there. Oh well. Better talk in. Maybe he'll finger you with his penis. No! Ah! Oh, I remember Red Bar Radio. Oh my god, he'll probably make a video. The fact that I think he makes a video every time somebody talks about him. Um, I, I don't know his shtick. I don't know if he's trying to be a troll. I don't know if he's trying to be funny um he's not really good at both i mean if you like him that's cool but that's the guy who said look at the balds collecting their dvds and action figures you know hey uh i i don't have the full full head of hair that i had when i was young but shit yeah i'm 52 i got old what happened that's what happens. Uh, but uh, look at the balds, and they're uh, collecting their DVDs and action figures. Yeah, I uh, Chrissy told me a bit about him. I think he uh, got a little butt hurt from Anthony Cumia. Not really sure. I, maybe he was on. Um, I don't remember seeing him on Compound Media. Been a subscriber for six or seven years, and I don't remember seeing the guy. Uh, so I don't know if he was there long or not. Um, I just went to his clip channels and he's got a picture of Kumia as his avatar. Um, not really sure. Anthony Kumia, the man, the true, the true king of all media, in my opinion, by the way, we just had him on a couple weeks ago. We're going to have him back. Love that guy. Red bar radio again. Enjoy who you like. That's, that's a, completely up to you. I know I share, um, audience members with a lot of people, um, and that's fine, you know. Variety is the spice of life. It is. Uh, but I think the guy's a kook. <laughs> um, are all of George Floyd gaming videos around nine minutes? <laughs> Says Merlin's ID for five dollars. Yes, they are. Culture Casino for twenty dollars. My good friend, Culture Casino is going to be in town soon. Going to be in town soon. Uh, when a fast food place gets Ryan's order wrong and angel gets their wings. Wait, I don't have a ding noise, but I do have that. I, that's close to a ding, right? X-ray. Uh, sorry. Um, thank you again. Culture casino for $20. Papa Cotty, Papa Cotty for $5 says X-ray girl needs to put on the baby Yoda brain eater. Okay, I'll pass that on. Shane Bentley for $5. When gingers have a good sense of humor, well done, Ryan. Yeah, you can still have a good sense of humor without a soul. Um, my goodbye, Sue, for 100 Martian pesos. Got to exercise my male gaze respectfully and say, Chrissy, looking sexy as fuck in that top. Uh, you guys are amazing. Keep up the great work. I'll pass that on to Chrissy. I'll pass that on to Chrissy. Uh, Shane Herbert for $10. Uh, rallying a gaggle of like-minded suffragettes that oppressed women sharpen their daggers and plan a sinister homecoming for their men. Frodo and the boys saved Middle Earth, but they can save, but can they save their junk? That's a good question because Amazon is out to snip off the balls of Tolkien. A leaf the loss for six ninety nine. Mahler and the drinker Excelsior. Everyone gets a no prize. Everyone gets a no prize. Yeah, I fucking love those guys. Two of the best guys I know. Uh, Dragons Advocates for ten euros says drinking whiskey and watching Friday Night Tights. Cheers all around. Currently wrapping birthday presents for my girlfriend. Presents? You got her more than one? Simp. Uh, and on that note. Do I have to take the cat out of the box before drilling the air holes? No. No, I just say, just wrap it up. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, I would say the best person to ask Dragon's Advocate is Drunk 3PO on cat care. I think he would be the the last person on earth I'd ask about it, to be honest with you. Uh, Victor Potter for $5. Oklahoma, north of Tulsa. How do they know where I live? 
Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Bartlesville. Bartlesville. Man, that sounds like a like an American town right there. I'm Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Hope you like big egg rolls because I'm the real BBC. Hail Friday Night Tight says X-ray girl's black boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and she saw that too. She probably laughed her ass off. She prepares all this for me. So, ah, <laughs> uh, you got me. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, but it is. Uh, Ryan McClesh for five dollars. Gary, do you remember the sound? Do you, you remembered the sound today. Good job. Hey, yeah. Um, so I recorded 20 mi- minutes of this without my microphone on. Pro tip. Uh, you could have a nice, uh, this is a $400 microphone, uh, Electro Voice. They're very good. They're very good. Everybody gets the sure because of Joe Rogan. And I will admit that I only, what I did was I looked up a microphone that was just as good as the, as the sure but wasn't the sure, and it's this one. And then I saw, I remembered that Anthony Cumia and Gavin McGinnis used this mic, and I'm all, I'm going to use this mic, this very phallic, dick-looking mic. I mean, they look like, I mean, they look, they're dicks. They look like big dildos. They do. Uh, but yeah, I, I, twenty minutes of this uh, super chat square up was done with no sound, so. Yeah, pro tip, you can have a $400 mic. Doesn't mean shit if it's muted. Uh, Cody Griffin for $20. My favorite YouTubers all together. Cheers all. It was a fun show. It was a really fun show. Uh, we had a fun show last week too. Uh, part two. Uh, where was part one? Where is part one? I'm going to have to look for that one. Oh my God, Lefty Pixels is in here for $10. Hey guys, great intro. Uh, LOL. I'm seeing Batman tonight. Should I expect any continuity with the other established directive nor genre outside superhero films, any Zodiac or Fincher vibes. Yeah, you're going to get those. Um, you've probably seen it already lofty. Uh, you're definitely going to get those not as well done as well done. You know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see a, a, a Batman movie made like a Batman movie, not like a Fincher Zodiac. Like, listen, I love Zodiac. I love that movie. People say it's slow. Mm, I think it builds the tension. I think it's just a masterpiece. Um, I also, uh, I love, I, I love most of Fincher's films. Most, I mean, Fight Club being my favorite, of course. But not all. No, 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 not all. I like the game. I think that's fun. I usually hate Sean Penn and everything he is, but he's decent in that. Um, not big on Alien 3. No, don't like Alien 3. And the panic room, no. Uh, but uh, uh, and uh, the girl with the dragon tattoo, I thought was okay, but I thought the uh, I, I I like the originals. I like the the I think the girl from the originals is way hotter. She was in God. I I I'm I'm so I'm not embarrassed to say I like this movie because I say it all the time. She's in Bright. I fucking love Bright. And I, I didn't think I'd like a Will Smith movie ever again, but I, I thought I liked him in Suicide Squad. I thought he was a good dead shot as Will Smith. Uh, Matthias Gulumit for $5. When The Ring of Power is out, just going to watch the original films instead. Very good. Very. That's, that's what I recommend you do. I highly recommend, I mean, I'll review it. I'm going to review every episode. People are going to watch it, but um, the way it's looking... Uh, a lot of those good writers who were involved aren't involved anymore. I just saw one ring.net that, you know, cause the Lord of the Rings thing has died down a little bit. It's going to pick back up when, and this is just how it goes. Right. So it's died down a little bit. There's no new news. I caught a couple of things again that I could make a video on, but um, you know, quite honestly, I think the last one was my last one for a little while. Unless you guys want to see, if you want to see more, I've got more to say. I've got more to say, but I don't just make videos to make videos. 
But if you guys want to hear more, just let, let me know. Email me. Say, yes, we want more Lord of the Rings stuff. Uh, I have a, a video in the works that's got Lord of the Rings in it. That's my only hint. That's my only hint. I'm trying something new. This video is going to be very different from what I've done in the past. It's been rolling around in my head for a year. For a year. And I think it's time it get done. It get done. And it's not pro. It's not Picard. No, Picard's going to take a long fucking time. Now, now I got to do two. Now I got to do two. Ah, it's okay though. What I have been waiting for is like, and I don't think I'm going to get it is a long drought. Like this week, this last few days has been a bit of a drought for me for entertainment news. Like the, you know, the Disney stuff. I made a video. It's still, Perry's still editing it. But the Disney, I might put that on daily because it's, it seems like that news has died down a little bit. So I'll put it over on daily. But, um, That news was so fucking dark. It was like after I I covered cuties, man. It's just like, oh, fuck, man. It makes me so angry. It does. It's. I'm seeing the LGBTQ individual, okay? The individual person who I have many in the audience. You have many out there who are your colleagues and friends. I see uh, a trait of their personality right of of what they are part of what they are being used and politicized to get to children that's fucking evil that's evil and 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 it, you know it could be amish it could be it could be whatever it could be catholics it could be whatever to get to children whatever excuse you use to start talking about gender roles and sexual things and sexuality to 6 year olds guys gals Stop it. People are not going to put up with this shit. We're not going to fuck. It's it's a losing argument. You get to our kids, fuck off. Fuck off. And I don't pull my parent card much, okay? I don't. But quite frankly, if you're on the other side of this argument, I mean, if, quite frankly, if you're on my side, uh, and you're on the, the, the right side, which is I'm on their side too, which is the side of the children. I'm on the side of children and parents. But if you're on the other side of this and you're arguing it, you ain't got kids. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You're just being political now. You're just being political. And no, you're not fighting for the rights of gay people. Because you can still say gay in the school and you can eventually teach these children what it means to be gay. I am completely for it. I think it's fair. There's enough gay people in society where it should be clinically taught at a proper age. That's all. Not trying to erase anybody. Not trying to say you don't exist. Exist. I don't care. They're out there. I know. I know that they're part of life. It's normalized now, but the political wing of the alphabet mob doesn't want to be normalized. They want their special status. They want to maintain their special status so they cannot be criticized. Part of being normalized means I can criticize you whenever the fuck I want. And by the way, you're normalized in my eyes. You're abs. You have been for years, years and years and years and years and years since I was a kid. And that's why I feel very comfortable criticizing anybody, whoever the fuck I want, because I see people as individuals. My mind doesn't work in a collectivist manner and will not. And that's why I try very hard not to use their fucking language. Words like community and platform unless I'm pointing it out on them, but I don't use it in relation to normal vernacular. Fuck the word community. Fuck platform or platforming. If somebody's using that 
unironically in their language a lot in their live streams or videos. Well, if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's a motherfucking duck. And I don't give a fuck if it's people who used to use the hashtag, the Phantom Menace, or any other fucking hashtag. I can't remember where I heard this. And if the person hears it, call me out on it. I prefer, I much prefer, friendship and principles over allies and hashtags. I even talked about this damn near in all of my, all of my Star Wars videos from last year. Use the Fandom Menace hashtag whenever you want. That's fine. It's not an organization. It's not anything that makes one affiliated with another. It's something individuals can type out whenever the fuck they want. Can't be canceled. You can't join. You can't quit. You can't be fired. Doesn't give you a right to be on another channel. And I'm talking specifically about content creators here, not audience members. And I warned of the dangers of it too. I said, we got to keep it a loose, a loose group of individuals. Individuals. Heading towards the same place, but, you know, differing on a lot of things. And for the most part, that's what it was. And it was great. But hashtags fade out. That's why you don't want to get too attached. They fade out. They evolve. They change. Same, a lot of the same people are still here fighting the fight. Doing the same thing they were doing two years ago. Sure, channels evolve. Channels evolve. Some people come. Some people go. That's normal life. That's fine. And when you are dealing with lots of individual humans, sometimes they don't get along. That's also part of life. Uh, what The best thing to do is to think about the audience for which I'm a member and move forward. Uh, may be off topic, but I'm calling new masked Borg queen in Picard uh, is somehow seven of nine. Uh, Eric H for five dollars. I think it's um, it could be. I mean, it could be, but I agree with Red Letter Media. I think it's Picard's mom. I think it's Picard's mom because of a flat. There's a flashback of her being like dragged out a doorway. Now that could either be her, his dad, or I I don't know. I don't know. Wow, every Friday, things just get better and better. Thank you, Ghost and Craig, for $2. I appreciate that. Uh, Bloodshot uh, for $5. Saw Batman. It was good. Not great. Needed more Riddler. Pattinson was okay. Nothing special. Movie took a dive in the qu quality in the third hour. That's basically my assessment, Bloodshot. I agree with that. Thor's Throbbing Thunder Rod for $5 says, I wonder how many Screw Russia people will reverse their politics when China invades Taiwan. Um, All of them. All of them. Uh, and Shane Herbert, I, I see part two there. I'm looking for part one and I don't see it. So I'm just going to read this. This is part two. Maybe I read it already. The women are tired of the women are tired of the toxic men leaving for years at a time, uh, traipsing middle earth. Things reach ahead when Lorena stumbles on Frodo's stash of lewd Olivia Munn drawings. Oh, okay. <laughs> Daddy chill. Uh, Slosher for ten dollars. In this, is this the end of Ryan Kittle with the blue-haired swamp walrus SJW is finally harpooning the savvy seaman, or will he continue to use all the gamer words? Tune in next week, same bad time, same bad channel. That's right. No, Ryan will be back. We love Ryan. Uh, Tobias Gregory for twenty Australian dollars. What's up, Tobias? What's up, Tobias? Love you, man. Uh, this won't mean much to the Yanks in the audience, but rest in peace to Australia's greatest cricket spin bowler, Shane Warren. Is it Warnay or Warren? Sorry. Uh, he passed away at age 52. That's my age. From a heart attack. We will never see his like again. It, a lot of young people dying of heart attacks, Tobias. A lot of young people dying of heart attacks. And Luke says, uh, RIP Shane Warren. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing his name. I don't mean to disrespect him. And Luke, thank you for the pound 49 too. I appreciate it. Uh, hail to the Australians. So he's a spin bowler. That's a cricketing 
So cricket's like kind of like baseball. Please, 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 please rip on the new Vikings Valhalla Netflix show, says Dad, Dad Caesar for $10. Yeah, I'd have to catch up on all the other Vikings. I mean, I guess I could watch it and do a review of it. I mean, I'm somewhat decent on, on Viking history. Like, not like, no, not, but I'm okay. I think I overdosed on freedom last night. Hail Friday night tights, said Moons of Neptune. Man, if I'm going to overdose on anything, overdose on freedom. Enjoying the show in my new house with a wonderful cigar. Oh, congratulations, Jarrett Scott. Uh, hail all. And here's hoping for the fourth season of Batwoman for Az to suffer through. I, I agree with that. I'll, I'll tip my coffee to that, too. Mahler, I just wanted to say I finished your Arcane EFAP series yesterday. A beautiful, intelligent show analyzed by beautiful, intelligent people. Very well done. Also, high rags. I'm going to pat uh, Joseph Snowart. I'm going to, I'm doing this right now. This is going to be copy and pasted and sent to Mahler via DMs. I'm sure he would love to hear this. Okay. So I'm just going to, I'm going to do it while I'm recording, but you just can't see. So here we go. I'm going to go to Mahler's message. And I'm going to put in the super chat. And then I'm going to put in your name, Joseph. So Mahler has seen this. There. So I put in your super chat and I said from Joseph Snowert, Snowert, sorry, uh, in FNT Square. So I'll, I'll, if he uh, gets back to me before I'm done here, I'll let you know. But it has been passed on. Okay, it's a very nice thing to say. I'm sure he appreciates it. All right, uh, Gary. Uh, okay, yeah, my favorite YouTubers. Okay, yep, that's it for this one. That's it. All right, we're back to another Friday Night Tights. We're going to get a little ways through this one, and then we're going to save the rest for the next one. For the Emperor, for nine ninety nine, Hail Friday Night Tights, I love your show. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. Thank you, and we will, as long as Mama Susan helps us. Uh, we are going to go over to Rumble eventually. Um, I signed up for the account. I think it's it'll be within the next month. I have a lot of stuff on my plate right now and that always gets put put off if i have to record a video but i'd say in the next month i'll be on rumble and there'll be more on that because we're in talks with rumble right now uh, spotify reached out to me too that was weird um they haven't taken my alex jones episode off i'm not big on spotify they want to they want to know if i'm hip to putting up video i guess the channel's doing decent enough to where they want to talk about putting video up on it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I want to get the, yes. The, the answer is yes. And why are you going to Spotify? Well, fuck Spotify. I'm going to say it right now. Fuck Spotify. But if I can go there and spread my message of common sense there, then I'm going to go there. I'm going to do what they did. I'm going to fucking infiltrate every, I want to be a thorn in their side. I want to be a thorn in their side. And I'm. you know what? I'll get right up to it. And then I'll push back a little bit just so I stay there. If I have to invent new language or do some other shit to wade through their stupid fucking guidelines, I'll do it to stay. But it's to be a pain in the ass. Just, just know that. And, and, and what I mean by being pain in the ass is saying whatever the hell I want to say in a certain way. Again, if I have to change my language once in a while, I have no problem doing it. I'm still getting the point across. And I'm still there. And you're still there. And, and if we can get more of us on these platforms, then we'll start to drown them out. There, there's enough of us already. We outnumber them already. We have the numbers to win whenever the fuck we want. Uh, it's, it is waking up those people to go, you know what? I, I'd, it's impossible to completely cut Disney out of your life, but you can cut the parks out of your life. You can go to uh, go to Universal. Go to Universal. You're not seeing real Marvel over there anyway. You're not seeing real Star Wars. So go to Universal. 
Uh, Jesus Davia for ten dollars. Thumbs up. Thank you, Jesus. I appreciate it. Uh, D what for one ninety nine? I smell like burnt hair and patchouli. Frostbite. Drop an F in the chat if you're jerking off to your girl. Uh, Roland New for four ninety nine. Really needed this tonight. Been a weird ass week, and Friday night tights always make me feel always makes me feel great. All hail and thank you for all the great for the great stream. Love you guys. We love you too, Roland. Thank you for the kind words and the four ninety nine. Really appreciate that. Uh, never gets old. Never gets old. Love you guys. Uh, Captain Happy Black Jack for ten dollars. Hail all. Have you read Misty Mountain yet? Look up the teaser to save a little time. Thanks to you all. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Thank you. Uh, American Legend for $2. Eric July equals awesome. He does. He does. He's unwavering and authentic. As authentic as they come. Uh, Michael Kumreen for $2 says, The only stick Ryan uh, works with is Jack Murphy's. Oh, ouch. Where's your tr- Wait, wrong one. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? Fuzzy for five dollars. Hail Friday night, Tice. Thank you for the fun and Fridays. Looking forward to Chrissy's show on the seventeenth. As made me buy Elden Ring, even though I suck. I love it. Oh, that's good. As long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. Uh, Keaton Smith for ninety nine cents. Thank you for the donation, Keaton. I appreciate you. Britt Cormier for twenty dollars says, "Love how every." Uh, year people complain about dst and how it helps farmers uh and someone that grew up on a farm it makes little difference to farmers lives we work sun up to sundown time on a clock had little meaning oh about daylight savings time yeah you're like you're like i don't know why they're doing this for us we're far we're fucking working whenever dark light we got lights uh hail farmers by the way fucking hail farmers thank you just like truckers, keeping America fed. We appreciate you guys. Yeah, I forgot to put the questions back up. Sorry. Sorry, folks. I can redo that one. Uh, Sweetie Squad for $10 says, People Gary made me anus hurt. Uh, he insulted Bon Jovi. Take this monies and please edit Gary's face in the most gayest Bon Jovi love song. Make it so number one. Still, in serious, love that, uh, love you and the peeps too. Yeah, Bon Jovi sucks. Bon Jovi has always sucked. Bon Jovi will always suck. Same with Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen has always sucked and he will always suck. He's not a working guy. He's a rich kid who sings like this all the time. And then ruins me. Fuck that shit. I don't know how anybody could listen to that garbage. But if you like it, that's up to you. It makes people less mad now, but uh, I've had that take all my life, and I used to get a ton of shit. How could you hate the boss, man? That fucking little hobbit ain't no boss. Hoops for $20. Uh, these people want the popularity that Lord of the Rings provides. Indeed, hoops. But reject the detail that made it do popular, made it popular in the first place. Yes. M Tack Shark for ten dollars. Just hail and thanks for all you do. Christian's a great guest. Yes, he is. Christian Toto was a great guest. Keaton Smith, thank you for the ninety nine cents. Gary, would you fly as to Texas one of these days? Yes. Uh, we've seen your friendship grow on YouTube, and it would be the best to see you guys meet in person. Uh, Colin Rich for four ninety nine. Absolutely, I would fly. I'd fly out there. I'd get on a fucking plane to fly out there to, to meet as. We'll meet soon. We'll meet soon. We will. Uh, thoughts on fitness for eight ninety nine British pounds. Thank you for the proper money. Watch Batman Begins again this evening. Change my opinion of the Batman. It is even the same league performance. Eight out of ten. Film three out of ten. Yeah, I just watched Dark Knight and it's like not even fucking close. Thoughts on fitness and I imagine it'd be the same for Batman Begins. Not even fucking close. Christopher Nolan is a phenomenal filmmaker. He just is. You know he doesn't hit the mark all the time, but uh, dude, even when he doesn't m hit the mark, it's still better than. Most uh, mud crab for $20. Hail friend and I tights. I am doing 
March on this month. It is fitness challenge to support veterans and their families. So if everyone or if anyone is thinking of giving some support to any veterans groups in their home country, uh, country, now is a good month. There you go, Mud Crab. Thank you for the uh, shouting that out. That's nice of you. Um, Ged Bilo for two British pounds. F T family set up a charity for Bartolo family. Yeah, we we talked about that. We did. Um, but according to the Bartolo family, uh, they are taken care of. They 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 they've um, John had things taken care of. Which is what men do. That's what men do. And they have asked, uh, you know, maybe just take that money and donate it to your favorite charity instead. So, uh, but we did inquire about that. So, rest in peace, John Bartolo. And that's where we're going to end it for this show. Uh, we'll get to the rest of them on the next one, which will be out in the next three or four days, hopefully. Uh, Got to get to work on a video. Got to get to work on a video. Parity is currently editing a video that I might either put on neurotic daily or change a little bit. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I did release a video on Thursday about George R. R. Martin. Please check it out. If you haven't, um, before that, there was a Lord of the Rings video and I'll be keeping an eye on anything going on. And if you see something you'd like, to see me make a video on on Nerdrotic or Nerdrotic Daily or talk about in a live stream, please email me at gary at nerdrotic.com. Uh, I'd like to thank the Mod Rotics. I'd like to thank everyone who left a super chat and a donation. Uh, we can never, ever, ever thank you guys enough. Um, that's what the meetups are for, right? The meetups are for for you guys. Um, and I'm gr it's great to see that you guys are meeting up without us. Uh, some, you know, A couple people approached us about that. I think it's such a good idea. Uh, watching you guys get together with each other is just as fun as getting together with y'all. So um, there will be meetups soon. There will be Vegas dates soon, Orlando dates soon, Texas. Um, I think there's a place uh, not far from where I live that we can do do a pretty decent meetup at. Um But I, I, yeah, I, I just got to get, I got to get the office settled. We got to get, the, I, I don't even have my lighting settled yet. So once I get my lighting settled, I'll, I'll probably have a date on that. But Vegas, I need to book way early. So I'll let you guys know on that probably sooner than Texas. Uh, until then, I think unless something really bad goes down, I'm going to be in Anaheim on... Yeah, uh, April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, I will be in Anaheim. I will be at WonderCon. I'm going to go for one day. I'm going to go for Saturday. I'll be doing Friday Night Tights from Anaheim. Um, and then I think we're going to go to Universal Studios, and then I think we're going to go home. But uh, I just want to go to a con. I have to go check my mom, too, but I decided to make it a business trip, Just you know. So the way it goes. And I was just in, you know, I, I barely been in Texas and I'm already going back to California, but that's the way it's going to go. I'm also going to be at San Diego Comic Con. So I'll be there for those dates as well. But yes, I'm going to be at WonderCon in Anaheim. No, I'm not going to Star Wars Celebration. Fuck that. Uh, <clears throat> I'd rather just go buy some comic books, to be honest with you. That's why I'm going. <laughs> buy some comic books. Uh, I don't know what the mask, I don't, Orange County, I don't think has uh, draconian mask mandates, which is good. LA, I think does, but uh, Anaheim is Orange County. So that's much better. We'll probably schedule a meetup as well uh, that day. I would think Saturday. So I'll see if I could find a, a bar we can just meet up at, you know, ca very casual meetup. If you're in the area, if you're in the area, uh, come and see me, come and see me. So, again, thanks, everyone. Love you guys. Uh, there'll be something new coming out in the channel soon. And I hope you all had a great weekend. And let's see what Hollywood does this week. I'm sure it will be incredibly, incredibly stupid. Take care.
Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. Dame, dame.